I am Tiana and this is Trendy by Tiana to my English channel and today I'm here to talk about sunscreen specifically for dark skin tones. I'm a Portuguese with Angolan roots who lives in Newcastle, UK. I have a dark skin, I'm a black person, a person of color, I'm 35 year old uh, soon, in days, by the time this video will come up, uh, I will be 35, and I have oily skin as well. So my recommendations will be based more to mature skin, um, people with oily skin, and people who want to avoid the ashy look, that white cast, but not only, but I will focus more on those concerns because it's what I can talk about. Contrary to popular belief, dark skin tones still need sunscreen. Skin cancer does not discriminate. If you have some issues with acne prone skin, hyperpigmentation or you're concerned about aging treatments, you should know that nothing matters more than wearing a sunscreen. If you don't wear sunscreen, you're not doing nothing at all. So if you want to choose one product, that will be sunscreen, definitely. You will still need sunscreen even if you wear makeup with the SPF. You never use that much makeup that makes your SPF make a huge difference. So wear your makeup with your SPF, yes, if you wish but still wear sunscreen underneath it. This video is not only for people of color, but people of color tend to suffer more from this issue because, well, it's more noticeable on darker skin tones when the sunscreen has that white cast. So one of the things that I would recommend on these sunscreens is all of them they don't have white cast you don't have to follow my recommendations but i will give you some tips on how to find sunscreen based on the ingredients how to avoid the white cast it's important to have a broad uh, spectrum on your sunscreen that means a sunscreen that protects you from uvb and uva uvb rays are the ones that burn your skin and cause your skin cancer you usually see this UVB protection as SPF the UVA usually you see pH or you see broad spectrum on them are the ones who cause acne and aging signs wrinkles and stuff. Let's talk about the white cast and I believe this is the reason of most people I hear listen to a uh, black girl talking about sunscreen is the white cast. You want to avoid that white cast. There's two types of sunscreen. is physical sunscreen and chemical uh, sunscreen. I won't go into a detail because I'm not a skincare expert, but that matters to know which type of sunscreen you're wearing because one of them, the physical sunscreen, usually contains titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. If you see titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, you know it's a physical sunscreen. The zinc oxide is the one that makes you look ghostly and also is responsible of that thick, uh, creamy, like really heavy um, texture of sunscreen some people don't like. Some suns physical sunscreens are formulated to not have that white cast and don't have that uh, heavy, heavy thick formulation, but to be on the safe side if you want to you don't want to splurge you want to try and be more successful with with trying and finding a sunscreen go for the safe size and go to the 
chemical sunscreen. There was a myth that chemical sunscreens are bad for your skin. They're actually not. I'll leave some research down below. The main ingredients you see on chemical sunscreens will be oxybenzone or avobenzone. When you see those ingredients, you know you're using a um, chemical sunscreen. That's the one most people of color would prefer because it doesn't give you um, ashy look, a white cast, doesn't make you look ghostly or purple or blue. He also has a um, thinner consistency. One thing I forgot to tell about SPF is SPF is not like 2 plus 2 equals 4. For example, a 10 SPF moisturizer with the 20 SPF foundation, it doesn't equally 30 SPF uh, sunscreen. No. Usually the higher sunscreen, if uh, applying the correct amounts, will be the, the SPF protection you will get. You can layer products with different SPFs, but just for you to know, it doesn't add up. And something like anything over 50 SPF is just BS. Let me tell you, just BS. Just as I wore at some point some under an SPF sunscreen, doesn't do, you don't doing anything special on that. So, so I, I will believe like until 50 suns, I usually wear a sunscreen that is between uh, 25, 20 to 25 till 50 SPF is normally my range. Over that, it's just BS marketing, good marketing companies push on us. Let's now no, go to my primary recommendations. This one, uh, this one, I don't even have the packager because I finished and I won't report it. It's not even available because he went under a scandal. This used to be the dear sunscreen, like the Purita one used to be the dear sunscreen for a lot of beauty and skincare YouTubers. But some testers, were, some independent testers show this sunscreen doesn't have the amount of SPF the claim to have. It claims to be SPF 50 and the study shown it was more like 15 to 19 SPF. So it was highly disappointed. The brand is dealing with this really well. So I believe this brand shouldn't be canceled. And it's not a problem with Korean skincare. It happens to um, this brand and few other brands. But I, I, I knew about this brand because it was a brand I know it was a lab in Germany that had this issue. So before you blame all the Korean skincare, I think they are handling this quite well. Yeah, what do I use now? I use this one. Snail Essence from Kors. Forgive me if I cannot pronounce the names correctly, but I will leave everything linked below. Chemical Sunscreen. That works well on my skin. I like Korean skincare, especially uh, sunscreen. I think they are lighter and consistent. I like the way they glide on my skin. This Korean skincare, uh, this Korean sunscreen were the ones that restore my faith on sunscreens um, altogether. They usually. Um, I mean the chemical ones, I don't mean the physical ones, still have those two ingredients. Uh, some of them will still make you look ghostly. But those ones, the chemical ones, might have any issues with this. This is the one I'm using currently. I will apply, reapply soon. I picked this Clarins sunscreen, SPF 30. I only have the small packages, like a sample size. I only have the sample size. For example, the Body Shop Seaweed, I don't wear this as sunscreen because it's only SPF 50. It's a broad spectrum because you see pH plus 
is for combination oily skin, but I think this is more like a moisturizer. But that was before I went to Korean skincare, but I want to give you some options. When you see this is a chemical sunscreen, no white cast, but for me, the SPF is too low. I used to wear this. I don't know, uh, I'm okay with that, You're just not a big fan. For example, this is for the body. On the rest of my skin goes smoothly, but I guess on my knees and elbows, it gets a little bit like bluish, but nothing major. Let's apply the one I like the most. That is the one I apply a good amount, like half a teaspoon. Because I want, I like to bring it down my neck as well. Only have like most toner and moisturizing on my skin. See what I'm talking about when I say not all sunscreens give you um, ashy look. I'm not saying like all the physical sunscreens give you a ghostly ashy look, but if for the safe side, like you don't want to be ashy no matter what, you don't want to look ghostly, you don't want that white cast no matter what, uh, what, you choose a chemical sunscreen. Especially the Korean ones there, I don't think the, their formulation is, I think they have, um, it's lighter, like I, it feels lighter on the skin, it feels like a moisturizer. Usually, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I don't skip just moisturizer altogether and I wear the sunscreen. Yeah, I don't skip the sunscreen, though. And this is how my skin looks in comparison with the horrible blue washy things you can see. Ideally, if you're out in the sun all day in the sun, you should reapply your sunscreen. I rarely, not rarely, but I don't use makeup on my day to day life, usually on special occasions. So I leave. Um, makeup artists and skincare experts uh, links down below so you can see how to reapply sunscreen if you wear makeup and over that even wearing sunscreen if you can wear ads wear sunglasses and stay in the shade so those are my skin my sunscreen recommendation if you find this video useful don't forget to click like because this helps in the algorithm. Don't forget to share with your friends, especially people of color who don't wear sunscreen. See you on my next video. Bye!